Well, I have some news to share. I will no longer be using the sort and filter drop down to filter data. That's right. I will no longer be using the sort and filter drop down now that Excel has released the new filter function. In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can use the filter function to filter our data in seconds. Let's get started. Here we have sales data and want to filter this data set on Emma Chip Sales. Instead of adding the sort and filter toggles to the data set and filtering the data manually, we can use the filter function. To use the filter function, select where you want the filter data set to appear, enter the filter function, and then select the data you want to filter as the array argument. Next, we need to input the include argument, which is the criteria that has to be true for the filter function to return the value. So think of this argument as the filter we are applying to the data. We want to filter this data set on Emma Chip sales, so we need to select the representative column and then set it equal to Emma Chip by entering an equal sign and then selecting cell I2. Now that we've defined which values to include in the filtered array, we can enter the function to return Emma Chip sales. Let's take a closer look at how this function is working. The include argument checks each value in the representative column and returns true if the representative equals Emma Chip and false if it does not. Then the filter function returns every row in the array where the include argument equals true. One thing to note is that the array argument and the include argument have to be the same size because the filter function returns every row in the array corresponding to the true values in the include argument. The best part about using the filter function is that it's dynamic. So let's say we change our mind and actually want to see Mike James sales. All we would have to do is enter Mike James in the representative cell, and that's it. The filter function automatically updated the results to show Mike James sales. You can also filter data on multiple criteria by utilizing the AND logic. For example, here we have the same formula filtering the data on Mike James, but now we want to add a second filter that filters this data by December to see Mike's December sales. To do this, all we would have to do is multiply the first filter by the second filter we want to apply in the include argument. So I'm going to go ahead and put our first filter in parentheses, enter a multiplication symbol, and now we need to add the second filter in parentheses. If we want to filter Mike's sales by December, we need to select the month column and set it equal to December. Now we can just add the closed parentheses to complete the AND logic, and then enter the updated formula to return the values where the representative in column B equals Mike James and the month in column C equals December. You can also use the filter function to quickly filter rows that are missing values. So for example, here we have Northern sales data, and as you can see, some of the representatives are missing. We want to quickly return all the rows missing a representative so that we can take a closer look at what is happening here. To do this, enter the filter function, select the data table as the array argument, and now we have to enter the criteria. We want to filter the data set on rows where the cell in column B is blank, so I'm going to select column B and set it equal to empty quotation marks to filter on the blank cells. Now we can just enter the function to filter the data. Similar to returning rows containing blank values, we can also use the filter function to filter out blank rows within a data table. So for example, here we have the same northern sales data, but this time there are a lot of blank rows within the data. We can quickly clean this up by using the filter function to filter out the blank rows without altering the original data set. To do this, enter the filter function, select the data as the array argument, and now we need to enter the criteria. We want to filter this data set on rows that contain values, so we can select any column within the data and then filter it on values that are not blank. So I'm going to go ahead and select column B, enter the does not equal operator, and then enter empty quotations to filter this data set on any value within column B that is not empty. To wrap up, we learned how to utilize the dynamic filter function to filter our data in seconds. Do you plan on using this function or do you prefer filtering data manually? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more.